Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. That's, that's my bird Vincent whistling in the background, if you're new here. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is my Eva Clutch. Sorry if that was loud, that was the keychain hitting the glass on my desk. My Eva Clutch, I took this a couple weeks ago to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, and we went to see Garth Brooks at the concert there. And I took this as my little evening bag, even though it wasn't really evening, kind of was. We were there for the day and evening. Um, but the reason I took this bag, I hardly ever use this because it's so small. I bought it specifically for evening bag, for weddings, things like that, where I want a small bag. I felt like I needed a small bag at the rodeo, at least for the concert part, to go into the stadium. I wasn't sure what the rules are on the stadiums. Um, I looked at the stadium website and it said about you know, really small bags and clear bags. I don't have a clear bag. So I thought this would be a safe bet. I didn't want to take like a never full and then have to leave it there or not be able to see the concert because I'm not going to leave my bag. So I took this and I'm going to show you how I packed it and you're probably not going to a rodeo but maybe this will help you um, figure out what kind of things you can fit into the Eva clutch because it's a pretty popular bag. By the way, I'm from Texas, born and raised here. I know this is not a cowboy hat. I had a cowboy hat for a few years, got rid of it because I never wear it because I'm not a cowboy and I'm not a cowgirl. So this is a hat that I wear when I'm doing photography. It was the closest thing I had to a cowboy hat. So that's why I had it on the picture um, or on the film. And now I'm taking it off. I'm gonna show you what's in the bag. First of all, the way I wore this bag was I used the crossbody strap and just kept it crossbody so I was hands-free at the rodeo and it's more secure than hand-holding or, or even carrying on my shoulder. So that's how I wore it, but I'm gonna keep the crossbody strap off right now because it's easier to hold without having that strap flopping around. So unzipping the Eva clutch, here is the inside. So you can see I've got quite a bit in there this bag, it looks small, but I have been really surprised the times that I've used it, how much it holds. And I think that's because it's um, kind of thin, like there's not a lot of padding and stuff to get in the way. The size you see on the outside is the size it is on the inside. And then also it's very pliable. And if you have something bulky, it can kind of stretch to accommodate that. Um, the base can kind of stretch out and flatten to accommodate that too. So. There you go. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to take my Facetti's keychain off because when I put that down on the table, it's going to make a lot of noise. But I did have that on there because I usually attach that to my LV bags. I think it's really pretty. Okay, let's go through what I've got in the bag here. If Vincent is bothering you, I apologize. A lot of people love her. When I'm talking on camera, she often starts talking on camera and whistling and she's just socializing. So, um, All right, so I'll just start pulling things out here. First thing is Magartha Brooks tickets. Hello. Not really a big fan of country music personally, but I do love Garth Brooks. So those were our tickets. Had to have those in there and I almost forgot them. Doesn't that always happen? Um, I've got my cell phone, of course. This is the iPhone 6. I have, let's see here. I have my, oh, I took these with me and I didn't have them in my bag. You could stuff them in there, but then the zipper might get a little wonky if you overstuff it. But I had sunglasses with me because we were there during the day. So I'm just gonna put those up on my head. No, I'm not, it looks funny. Because I have the camera pointed down and you can't see them on top of my head. So I'll just leave them off. But I had those with me. And then inside my bag, I had my reading glasses because I have to have those now. I'm like, I can't see anything anymore. Um, let's see, at the very bottom of my bag, I always carry a pen with me. This is the pen I tend to carry in my bags. It's by Pen Gems. It has a little crystal, a little crystal on the top. Um, cute little pen, brown to match most of my LV bags. And then I usually carry my Tied to Go stick. Also, this thing has come in handy so many times, especially at wineries when I'm tasting red wine and spill it all over myself. That's only happened like twice, but that thing works. Um, I have, as a wallet, I have been wanting a zippy coin for quite a while. I just haven't found quite the right, the right one yet. So, cause I'm looking for not the monogram one. Um, I don't know what I want. I go back and forth. So I'm not going to go off into a tangent about that. But so I took this as my wallet, my Damier Ben Clay 
and inside there I just have my ID, my debit card, and then some cash. So that's, it's a great little mini wallet if you're carrying minimal things. And then I have my denim clay also. And in this one, I took, let's see if you can see all this. I took all of my turquoise jewelry. Um, the reason I took all my turquoise, these are some of my favorite pieces, these earrings with the uh, white, I think it's called white buffalo turquoise. Isn't that beautiful, the work on the silver and all? Anyway, the reason I took my turquoise is because the rodeo has this huge shopping area and that's where I get a lot of my turquoise pieces and you can find some pretty decent prices. So there are like three places that I buy turquoise. The rodeo, there's a shop in Galveston that has turquoise, but I don't think I've ever bought anything there because they're really expensive, but they have nice pieces. And then Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is also really expensive. So the rodeo has a lot of places that come from Santa Fe and I find pieces there. So I took this to find matching pieces. Like if I have earrings, get a necklace, I'm on a tangent again, but that's why I carried all my turquoise jewelry with me. And then I have a scrunchie, which I probably had in my hair the day of the rodeo, but I always carry one of those with me. And the last thing I have, and I'm turning it on because I'm also vlogging today. The last thing I have is my camera. I got some great shots. I love this camera. I'm sure I've talked about it before, the Canon G9X. Um, the G7, I think, is the one that I really want, and it's the one I wanted when I bought this, but they were just coming out with a new one that has the flip screen, which is the perfect little vlogging camera. And I was about to go to California, and I had to have a camera, and they, had, they kept pushing back the release date. So I ended up buying this one because that wasn't available yet. And now I have this and still want the other one. So I'm probably going to try to sell this at some point and buy the other one. And again, I'm on another tangent. But that's everything that I had in my bag. So that gives you an idea of how much you can carry. Of course, you're going to carry different things than I would. Um, let me show you real quick, too. I have, just while I've got some stuff out here, I have my Sarah wallet, which is one of the biggest wallets that Vuitton makes that's used as a regular wallet. That fits in here. So if you wanted to just drop in your Sarah and your phone and a scrunchie and a pen, wouldn't be able to get my glasses in there with all that. Push the pen to the bottom. And uh, a clay, well you wouldn't need a clay I don't, unless you put your keys in here. So, or little knick-knacky things. That maybe won't fit so much. No, I guess I, I think I can get that zipped up. So I've got Sarah, phone, clay, scrunchie, and I think that's gonna zip up just fine. Yeah, it's not wonky or anything. Um, so that gives you a little bit of an idea too if you're familiar with the size of the Sarah. This thing, it just holds so much more than it looks like it does, or than it looks like it would. So that is the what's in my bag for the Garth Brooks concert video. I hope that was helpful to you if you're looking to see what fits in the Eva. I'm gonna stop pulling stuff out and making noise and say goodbye to you. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video and follow me on Instagram if you're into that. I'm Autumn Beckman there too. Thanks again and have a fantastic day. Bye.